Hey Steve, I wanted to give you a vision of what I'm thinking as it relates to building up a team of associates um, who are professionals, um, they are experts, they're uh, doctors, dentists, lawyers, their mothers, their fathers, stay at home or uh, work nine to five, um, who would come here once a week minimum and meet up with me as it relates to um, life back. Uh, this building uh, Paul's been at and he has become a member as um, through through my um, efforts with um, sorry there's some people here um, Scott Thompson who's part owner and manager of this building was able to help him build out what's called the Rock Business Club uh, up to, we're upstairs on a, th a three-story building here in Park City. This is a podcast room um, where uh, actually a couple weeks ago, I think Penn from Penn and Teller was here. And so um, this facility gets rented typically uh, to Sundance uh, during the Sundance Film Festival. And because of that, they uh, do a, quite a bit of... Um, just grabbing my Christmas tree here because I uh, brought on some decorations. But sorry, uh, there's a kitchen back here as well, uh, and, and back the back deck because we're on Main Street. This is the back side then, right, of Main Street. Let me just show you guys before I continue. It's kind of fun, right? So this is the back side where the alley is, or the back street is, and parking, and then there's the access to up to Deer Valley. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> when I, I came here to do an event, uh, Scott and I became friends and he's like, hey bro, why don't you come up here and do corporate events? So I did several. Paul came up here. We got him initiated and he is now part of a, the club here so he can come up here at any time, use any of these facilities. And uh, the long and the short it is, uh, this is a gathering place. Park City is a destination and people like to uh, be able to, to be in certain circles. This is a higher end um, place. It's even got a turntable here. Um, one of uh, Paul's favorite bands is in here. So let's see if we can show you Steve-O. <clears throat> here we go, let's see. Every time Paul comes up here, he gets on his dancing shoes. And he likes to play. I'll bet you it's gonna be the last one. Oh, here it is. That's his buddy, Barry Manila. Steve, dude, seriously. Anything for Christmas for, for Paul? How about a Barry Manila wig for Paul? Anyway, <laughs> long story short is guys, um, I think that if we put the right system together, uh, which will be collaborative, um, but would also be um, <clears throat> uh, influenced by my um, background and experience and input, this is Main Street, by the way. Um, so we're at the top of Main Street, left side, but I'm looking down, of course, uh, through the screen here. And so what we would do is, the way I see it, guys, is we would um, have our, I think we'd probably do it on Thursdays, we'd have our Thursday uh, webinar. And uh, I was going to make sure this is uh, still filming. And we'll do our Thursday webinar, and then what we'll do is, um, as I operate out of here two, three times a week, what I can do is I can increase my frequency to three or four times, maybe five times a week. And what I'll be able to do is, um, you know, you don't measure what you can't manage and vice versa. And so you have to manage these people and get their uh, prospects leading, ex you know, uh, B2B contacts, their um, one-to-many contacts. So this is a type of facility where you can sit down with people who have digital marketing companies, they're good at, at PR, they're good at um, email marketing, they're good at text marketing. They have funnel systems like ClickFunnels that are knockoffs that are even better. And you have true affiliates who have 
maybe a thousand people in their organization. Um, you have people that are in uh, chiropractic and in, uh, MD and healthcare in any way, shape, or form, in insurance, mortgage, um, veterans. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And this is um, has been, and Paul knows this, an epicenter for these events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a tour downstairs. Um, not to get too long-winded, but I'd like to be comprehensive of what's possible, Steve. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. <clears throat> so this is coming from the top stairs. Hopefully they won't mind me not having a mask on. And this is where I do my events. I've done several events here for, with several hundred people. A lot of the people come back, which is really nice. That's one thing I really love about it. So here's the stage. <clears throat> Paul's been up here speaking, as a matter of fact. And as a matter of fact, um, part of my strategy, which we'll talk about later, is the way that I raise money is through events. It's really the only way I've done it. Um, that's one of the main reasons why we put that party on in Puerto Rico and had 500 people. You have to understand, we were the center of that party. So now 500 people know who we are. We don't go to 500 people, they come to us. So that's the bathroom. Uh, Paul, you don't know this, but what we're doing is, and I'm, I'm actually helping Scott as much as possible, but he told me he's putting a kitchen back here, <clears throat> full on kitchen. But right now this has just been a little storage and like I said, Sundance usually comes in and does really well with it. Well, recently they rented it to Tony Shea's family fund and unfortunately Tony, you know, passed away, but uh, they still have the contract till September. So here's a gallery, there's an art gallery as well. Um, you have lights, you have um, speakers. Now, oddly enough, it's kind of cool, there's a coffee shop down here on the same floor, so it's really neat. Uh, let's see if we can get a, anybody to wave here. So you can get hot chocolate, coffee. Hey, wave hi. Say wave hi, how are you? <laughs> Do a little promo video. And uh, that's all you have to say is just say a promo video and they, they'll freaking do anything for you. So let me step outside. Now, this won't be open for us to look down, but this is also a basement. And John Mayer was there just before COVID. Uh, this is Main Street, of course. Paul's been here several times. I don't know how many times you've been up here, Steve, but uh, that is the Rock Business Club. And one thing, Paul, that we discussed on brunch that you couldn't make, which was totally cool, freaking punk, gotta make it next time. Just kidding, dude. Is, uh, Scott's got some really, really connected friends. Scott Thompson, Steve, is again, co-owner co uh, over there, by the way, that where my finger is, Berkshire Hathaway, they built that out. So Berkshire is renting that. And the long of the short of it is, I have a key, literally have a key in my pocket to this building. Uh, Scott took it off his key ring and gave it to me. Um, you can't hand a uh, 12, 15 million dollar building to somebody unless you trust them. And so uh, I was pretty floored. Everybody else got a key key uh, keychain, didn't you, Paul? Nobody ever actually got the key yet, but Crane. But that's okay. We'll get you a key. So long of the short of it, guys, is uh, Scott's thinking about putting um, a little rooftop thing up there, kind of like there is an old San Juan, Paul. So it'll be so sick. Little pavilion, covered, little dome. So uh, there's some locals here who have just gone IPO and just crushed it, and they have a bunch of money. They're going to help them. So anyway, guys, this is the uh, place where people want to come in and feel special. You know, I'll tell you one thing before I let you go. If Disneyland had been smart, what they would have done, and they may still do, have a section of their parks, possibly more like probably Orlando, that is just corporate. But part of that experience and that corporate experience is being able to walk amongst places that are happy and positive and Disneyland is happy and positive the way I see it this is kind of like an adult Disneyland it, it there's something about being in the mountains something about being on Main Street in Park City in the, one of the most marquee spots that when you get here you're prepped for success you're already geared up for excellence and by the time you get here to do business you're ready to go. Whereas think about other places where you show up and you're like, eh, I don't want to be here. This sucks. I don't want to be on the Zoom call. No, dude. And remember, because Utah is filled with door knockers, network marketers, 
missionaries, bilingual, entrepreneurs, direct sales of every type, shape, and form experience through generations actually now, you have people who will walk through those front doors that can make us multi, 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 multi millionaires. And as Paul says, possibly even this company be worth a billion someday. There it is, guys. Hope I didn't make you dizzy. Have a good day. I'll post this to, to uh, YouTube so that I, you know, otherwise I won't be able to send it to you on the phone. And this is just a little snapshot. Um, again, Paul will attest to this. I was doing events during COVID every other week. I was like, screw that. And so several hundred people have been here. Uh, maybe I'll send you the sizzle reel if I haven't already. On that stage, including myself, and I was the MC of that. And got a lot of contracts. People made a lot of money between each other in those groups. And it, none of it was a networking environment. It was all people who were kind of captains of their own little industries or at least first mates. Okay, guys, have a great day.